God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and glad therein. This is Monday Morning Meditation with Bishop A.M. Moore, and we consider it a privilege and an honor again to have this opportunity uh, to spend time uh, with you uh, on this day. Uh, I, I wanted to take you to a um, very familiar uh, passage of scripture uh, that uh, has been discussed down uh, through the ages, and it addresses this awesome and fantastic uh, call, this awesome and this fantastic call of God. Um, and Isaiah uh, shares with us in Isaiah chapter 6, uh, verse number 8, Isaiah chapter 6, verse number 8, uh, and as we go there, Isaiah, uh, the Old Testament prophet that is grouped with uh, the major prophet section of, of the Bible, is in some regards uh, considered uh, to be a miniature Bible. Good morning, good morning, good morning to each of you. Uh, I'm so excited uh, to see you this morning as we uh, start another week. And in the sixth chapter, in the eighth verse, the 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 um, the question is asked: Who will I send? Who will I send? Who will I send? Who will I send? And he heard a voice from the Lord saying, "Who shall I send? And who will go for us?" Then I said, "Here am I. Send me." Um, there are six major uh, figures. Um, uh, seven major uh, figures in scripture that answered slowly. But this text says Isaiah answered quickly. Isaiah answered quickly. And when you see injustice, when you see wrong, um, should our answer be slow or should our answer be quick? It's one of the questions that we have to wrestle with. Uh, the scripture tells us to count up the cost. <laughs> uh, Proverbs 15 and 1 says, a uh, 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 slow answer turns away wrath. The A part of 15 and 1 says, a slow answer turns away wrath. But uh, when God is speaking, when God is speaking, our answer should be not only yes, but it should be it should be quick. It should be quick. And so um, uh, there were three things that happened in this verse. The, the, uh, well, really four. Uh, the voice said, there was a voice speaking. Uh, there was a question asked. Um, the question was expanded. And the question was answered. I'll say it again. There was a voice speaking. There was two questions asked. Who will I send? And who will go for us? And the answer Isaiah responded back was send me, I'll go. Now, Isaiah's name means Jehovah is salvation or uh, Jehovah is help. And in these turbulent trying times with um, injustice uh, being addressed, uh, with uh, a pandemic that is still spreading, and growing uh, in our nation and in our world. And in some places, uh, it's spiked, um, it's reached its peak. Uh, but in the state of Alabama, in the county of Jefferson County, um, the numbers are still going up. The numbers are still going up. And in the midst of that, we have to respond to the Lord because I believe that even though God did not initiate any of this, I believe God is going to get glory from all of this. Uh, I'll say it again. I believe that even though God did not initiate this, I believe wholeheartedly God is going to get glory from all of this. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. And so the question is, do we hear God's voice? What is he saying? Who should it be? And if you, then are you ready to respond? Are you ready 
to say, Lord, I'll go. I'll do what it is that you would have uh, me to do, uh, to help your people, to make a difference, to cause creative and positive change to happen. I'm willing to be that change agent because the first um, the first 39 books or chapters of Isaiah deal with the wrath, the correction of God. And the last 27 deal with the redemption of God. Okay. So we, 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 this book is divided into two divisions. One that deals with God exposing the inadequacies, the iniquity, uh, the sin of man, the sin of Israel, the wrong that they've done toward him. And the last 27 talks about the redemption of God. Isaiah's the miniature Bible in the Bible. And so now as we look at this and we analyze this and assess it from our individual perspectives, uh, uh, the things that God has changed in me, the things that God has changed in you so that you can be the change agent that when the question is asked, who will I send? Who will go for us? Here am I. Send me. Uh, here am I. Send me. Here am I. Send me. And my simple declaration Today is just this for you and I to ponder and think on. And don't say this one if you you're really you're really not you're really not willing uh, to be used of God, because I believe that ultimately uh, that's all of our created purpose in the earth is to be used of God. Okay, and my declaration is simply this: this morning, a waski is willing to be used by God. Awaski is willing to be used by God. I see you, Miss Wanda. I see you, Terry. I see you, Talisha. I see you, Susan. I, I see you this morning. I thank God for all of you that are on and all of you that will share and help get this message out because God needs some individuals that he's able to send on his behalf to stand up, to speak up, and watch God show up. If you stand up, if you speak up, God will show up. Uh, yes, yes. If, uh, if you stand up and speak up, God will show up. I see you, Pastor Parker. Yes, and this is what is happening. Out of a pandemic, a movement has started to address injustice. You can't tell me that if somebody stands up, somebody speaks up, God won't show up. And so God will show up. Yes, I see you. I see you this morning. And now I'm doing something usually that I don't do. God, I pray over every person that's answer is yes this morning that they are willing to be sent and be used by you. I pray for your covering. I pray for your direction. I pray for your protection. I pray now that you would get the glory out of this dilemma, these situations, the opportunities that you're setting before us. And we give you the glory, the honor, and all the praise in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God loves you. So do I. This has been Monday Morning Meditation with Bishop A.M. Moore. Until next Monday, meditate on this. Here am I. Send me. Awaski is willing to go for God. God bless you.